West Advisors in partnership with Watunga Hifa, with funding from BMZ, has been working in Chikwawa District Traditional Authority Kasisi, Group Village Headman, Njelesa. From 2019 to 2022, West Advisors has been implementing different projects, but with much emphasis on water sanitation, hygiene and nutrition. Over the years, West Advisors has been training facilitators from seven villages found in Kasisi. For easy dissemination of information, 40 community health clubs, CHCs, were formed from all the villages and group members. After a while of training them in the health and nutrition aspects, West Advisors saw a need in helping the groups they were working with, with something that will help them practice fully what they were taught. Considering the fact in order to get the six foot groups one needs to have money, they saw it was wise for them to give the groups capital to start businesses. In order to make sure that the money is utilized in the right way, they organized business trainings where group facilitators were taught on eight micro MBA books. The books covered every aspect of micro businesses starting from selecting the business, profitability analysis, business management and financial handling. Uh, this program, uh, when it was starting, uh, people thought of some uh, entrepreneurs which were struggling in terms of uh, managing their businesses. So uh, coming off this course, it helped a lot of people in uh, conducting businesses in a normal way, whereby they are able to make uh, some profits. This program, as I have already said, it comprises of eight workbooks. And uh, for the first book is uh, market investigation. In the market investigation, what we do is to give uh, entrepreneurs four questions of which they are to answer. Uh, the questions are as follows. What are they going to sell? Who will be buying from them? How or where they will be learning the business? And how they will be advertising the services or businesses that they are doing. And the third book is about buying. So, in this book, mostly they learn about how they can buy the materials which they will be using for selling or the products that will be selling. And the fourth book is about costing and pricing. In this book, they learn more about uh, the cost of the money that they have invested in their businesses and then and the money that will be gaining from what they have produced. And the, the fifth one, it's about selling. You know, most of the times when we are selling things, it will always be difficult for the entrepreneurs to know how they can sell their products. But in this book, it helps them on how they can uh, sell their products in different areas for them to have uh, much customers. And the sixth book, it's about uh, business plan. You know, in English, there is a word that says, uh, when you are failing to plan, that means you are also planning to fail. So, it is very important for a business person to do business plan before investing a lot in that business. Sometimes we invest in businesses which most fails. But in this planning, it helps a lot that you, when you start your business, you can't fail, even uh, make your business to be fail. And the seventh book, it's about uh, weekly cash management. A lot of people in Malawi they have been doing businesses. But then, in terms of uh, cash management, it has been a big problem here in Malawi. And the, in this course, especially in this book, Seven, it helps a lot in terms of how people, they can handle their money because there is a list of things that needs to be considered especially when we are doing business. What we always 
think of is for the mass cost of our income and also about the cost of uh, things that we'll be producing and as well as for the equipment that we use to uh, make some products in our businesses. So if you consider of all these things, management can be the key to support or to help how you are recording uh, your monthly or weekly income. And then the eighth book, it's about uh, stock control. You know, most of the businesses, we don't know how much we have in stock or what we need to get so that we can have uh, goods later available during our business. So in book eight, it helps a lot in making your decisions appropriate so that you can be able to have things ready for your customers. So it is good for everyone to do uh, stock taking in businesses so that uh, businesses can be uh, continually be done. Levi Son Saidi from West Advisors. After the trainings, all 40 groups were given 180,000 kwacha as a startup capital. Each group had to decide a business of their choice and many of them are still running. so you wara kazo na kuti wati pindulu ya business yathu jo yambirira ndi kuti mewe yathu ikhayo tukuka komaso zomwana kuti police awe si divisor zo kuzana ndi za ukondo majedo abu ino ndi mabanja mathu zikabe zikulani zikupitirira komaso ndete de lati lati eka sisili ino likhalo tukuka the businesses were chosen mostly in two aspects of trade and producers Where among others in the trade category, we have groups doing rice, maize, cooking oil, tailoring and many more. Also in the producer's side, we have a majority in pottery production, pig production, sesema production and many others. The businesses seem to have much potential since they are all dedicated to what they are doing and it will indeed benefit them all. Right now, TA Kasisi has a different story from nutrition, health, and also income generating activities. <laughs> ah.